with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas, or I should say Happy Easter. It's tough to tell the difference. It feels like winter this morning, and we have kind of a flip-flop going on with our temperatures. I'm basically digging up some stats comparing this morning to Christmas morning, and here's what we have. On Christmas morning at 7 a.m., it was 59 degrees. This morning at 7 o'clock in the morning, it was 35 degrees. So a very chilly start given that it is Easter morning. Obviously, last Christmas was very unusual in terms of those very warm temperatures coming in. We don't have any precipitation to track on this chilly morning. And as we go throughout the late morning, you're fine if you're heading to services or doing some Easter egg hunts all the way through around noontime. Once we get past 1 or 2 p.m., the chance of some showers will start to move through. So if you want to play it safe. Get those Easter egg hunts done before the noon hour. As we head into the afternoon, it's not raining the whole time, but some scattered showers at times and even potentially a few heavy showers are possible as we go deeper into the afternoon and evening. This is around 6 p.m. Even an isolated thunderstorm and some gusty winds are possible. So just keep that in mind if you're out and about later on this evening. And then as we head to the overnight hours, even by midnight, still the chance of some showers. Initially, I was a little concerned about some snow mixing in with these showers hours, especially to the north and west of 295, but it looks like most of our data is pushing the rain snow mix to the north of the Mass Pike. So I'll just leave in the forecast some chilly rain showers overnight tonight through early Monday morning. Taking a look at things across Narragansett Bay, visibility in fantastic shape for this Easter Sunday morning. Temperature in Providence is 37 degrees. Pawtucket, you're at 36. Newport at 39. Winds not nearly as breezy as yesterday. Right now in Newport, they're out of the southwest at 8 miles an hour. And at TF Green, we have winds at 13 miles an hour. So the winds won't be completely calm today. That's because we have this front passing to our north in its wake. It will kick up the breezes a bit. And then this little uh, upper level disturbance will poke through later on this afternoon and this evening, kicking off some of those showers. So I mentioned the winds, and I think the windiest part of today, again, it's nowhere close to what we saw yesterday, but we will see some uh, briefly gusty winds. Right around noontime, these are sustained winds between about uh, 14 and say 16, 17 miles an hour. When you have sustained winds like this, you can easily get gusts of around 25 miles an hour. Watch what happens as we go deeper into the afternoon. Around 5 p.m., winds actually decrease to around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, obviously, if you happen to be underneath an isolated gusty thunderstorm during the evening, winds could temporarily get stronger and then overnight winds not that big a deal between about five to 10 miles an hour. So the Easter Bunny not happy with the chance of showers, trying to stomp them out, but not having too much success. At least we do hit that high of around 50 late morning into the early afternoon and then the clouds increase after that and temperatures drop back into the 40s. The eyewitness news threat tracker keeping us in the low category throughout today, tonight and into tomorrow. Although we'll keep an eye on the chance of some of those heavier showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm this afternoon and this evening. You can keep uh, tuned on WPRI.com on your mobile device throughout your Easter Sunday. Always a good idea. Now, in the seven day future cast, on Monday I have 54, chance of a few showers. I'm not thinking Monday is a washout, and actually it will be the mildest of the next several days. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, back into the 40s with likely showers. So you can see, Brian, things remaining mm. unsettled in that seven day future cast. Yes, afternoon, even though it was windy, but it was sunny out, so I had to get out, took a drive across the Situate Reservoir. Still a lot of ice there. Yes, you know, it's good that we have a lot of above freezing high temperatures. We yes. need to do more melting, but yeah, the snow not completely gone just yet. I was surprised to see that. Yep. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Covering New England for you this morning, human remains were discovered in a duffel bag in Cambridge Saturday. Now the Middlesex County DA says police have already arrested a suspect. That person is now charged as an accessory.